Having done some sort of work prior to um, getting a contract helped a little bit in terms of understanding what it takes to actually, like a full work day, um, your hours, the expectations, um, and also probably the financial side of it as well is that I know like what you put in, you get out as such. Just through conversations and, and um, Dan Christian, he just said, why don't we, why don't we mow some lawns? Like, why don't we use our profiles? You know, people love having us around to, to mow their lawns, a bit of a novelty. Um, and next thing you know, we've, um, we've, we've started our business called Offcutters. Um, and that was probably, I did Offcutters for about two, I reckon two, two and a half years whilst I was playing. When you walk out of your chosen sport, your professional sport, it doesn't mean you're going to walk into the, the rest of your life or that your career as such. Like it's, it's not like you're supposed to step out of cricket, step into something else and you're ready to go. I think sometimes the fear comes of, I'm not ready, um, I don't have the experience. It, 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 most people uh, fall into that category. So straight off the bat, don't feel like you need to complete the whole degree. You know, if you're studying, don't, you don't need to complete the whole apprenticeship um, before you finish cricket. But if there are areas that you want to upskill, get better at, then by all means do it. I think do something. And what, one of the, that is, could be uni, could be workplace, it could be, um, that finding it could be anything just just do something